I have to share this with you guys real quick. It makes me so proud that you're watching all over the country, all over the world. But check this out. Walking out of the showroom, I'm going to have to put this on. There's a guy in a lounge. Just walked by. Don't recognize him, but he was watching our channel. Hey man, I noticed that you were watching our channel and I just want to thank you for that. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. Can't recognize me with a mask on, but yeah, that's yeah. me. I was like, hey, all right, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> nice got, to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. You got a car in for service today? Yeah. What do you got back there? 2019 C7 Stingray. Oh, well, thanks for bringing it in. I appreciate it. Okay. And, th and thanks for watching the channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> You're going to spoil it. See, they saw me outside. They knew I was up to something. <laughs> so now it's not going to be such a shocking surprise to them. You guys have seen this on social media. Um, yeah, that's me. Uh, it's not a mini me. It's a... It's a mighty me. I'm actually, I'm actually taller than me. I'm actually getting ready for my Christmas card shoot today, uh, playing off what we've went through for 2020 with cardboard figurines in the stands. I'll show you that in a later upload. But okay, now that the guys are peeking around the corner, let's go see what Chuck and Nate think of <laughs> a cardboard me. Yeah, you guys, you guys saw me outside, so you knew I was up to something. I saw you peeking around the corner. Uh -huh. I know it's much too cold and too early in the morning for this, but here you go. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Yeah, yeah. it's a little well, tall. Let's it. One of you is bad yeah, enough. We don't need there. another. I guess. <laughs> See, I told you we could cut out a one-liner from him. <laughs> another Chuckism. Is anybody writing this stuff down? <laughs> I think I'm taller than me, though. Yeah. I am are. taller than me. Yeah. That's how we start our day. Before we even open for business, we're in here razzing each other. It's the only way we get through our day sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm getting ready for my Christmas card shoot today. Yeah. So that is indicative of 2020. Absolutely. You watch any football game, baseball games, there's cardboard people in the stands, so there's going to be cardboard me around the Corvette today for the Christmas card. So. Hey, I need a cardboard me to work on them so I can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got Nate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's been picking up the slack lately. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's like I bring down these new Corvettes and you're over here, cigarette break, coffee break. Right, that's kind of like one, Couple two, customer two, cars. Five, six, seven customer cars. <laughs> I just, just get a little slower at your old age. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, brother. All right. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah it's good to see you. <laughs> see? You. I know you guys miss Chuck, so once again, it's good to see him. Is that the uh, first one of the morning? First one. First one. Okay. Right, yeah. First one. Yeah, it not sounds the, like you just the, rolled out of bed, the, dude. Yeah. <laughs> not the first cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? I, know, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's, we don't need any more characters on the vlog. Beat it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I miss having Chuck on the channel, too, you guys. We always love having fun with you. Welcome, and thanks for taking the time to stop by uh, today. Just a quick upload, just to have an opportunity to touch base with you, talk about stuff going on in the marketplace, and right here on my Corvette channel. Our last 2020 C8 Corvette has been built. It's a hardtop convertible, ceramic gray, going to Cole here in Ohio. Thanks for hanging in there, man. His VIN is uh, 18,513. And it features that number one interior with our customers that we covered with you on our Sunday show, which was a lot of fun. I told you that stuff was intriguing and fascinating. And thank you so much for watching and giving us some great feedback. Uh, interesting stuff there. But yes, Cole's car features those two-tone red and black GT2 seats. Here's a couple file photos of his car and we'll feature it and show it off once it gets here, which really should be any day. Now, speaking of having fun here on the channel, did you see the upload on Friday? I was in the Corvette, in the semi, going to Dennis's house, trying to surprise him. We kind of did. I guess I was so bent on being in the car that I was behind the steering wheel, and all of a sudden, I'm driving the car out of the trailer while the driver, Ernie, is standing outside the car, and Dennis was on to us, and he, and he says as we come out, Conti, you're dropping off that lift. You own it. You're backing off that ramp. Conti, you own it. 
you say my name? Does he know I'm in this car? I flipped. I couldn't believe it. But I, yes, I screwed up. I should have been in the passenger seat, let Ernie back the car out, and I think we would have got a little bit more of an element of surprise for Dennis. But either way, that was a fun vlog. If you missed it, and I know you guys are busy. It's the time of the year. Link is down below in the description. I appreciate you taking the time to watch that and watch our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. Uh, comparing our customers' orders versus the national orders, there was a big disparity and a few features and options. We made a couple of predictions going forward for 2021. If you guys don't mind speaking of 2021 and my CorvetteConti.com site is not up yet, apologize for that. I want to give a small update for those folks that were released in that first allocation block. Some of you folks actually have build weeks already for your 2021 Corvettes. And I told you, this is not going to be the transition like when the C8 was revealed. You put in a pre-order and then you waited 8 to 16 months before you actually got your car if you did it all. A lot of our customers, our 2020 orders that never did get placed because of everything that has occurred this past year, those folks are in the system right now. I just want to give them an acknowledgement like we did the other day with the cars that are here waiting for prep and delivery. So for 2021, Tom in California, your red convertible is being built the week of 1214. Steve in Michigan, your red convertible, 1214. Bernard, Ohio, your red convertible, 1214. Fred and Joy, your car actually getting built sometime this week as they're finishing the 20s. They're going to roll at the end of this week. So it officially shows a 12-7 build week, 2021. So they are moving fast and furious. I told you guys this is going to be a very quick transition and things are going to be moving rather than waiting as, as we have. Oh my gosh. Bo in Kentucky, your red coupe, 12-14 build week. Nick in Florida, your white convertible, 12-21 build week. Your daughter's picking up her car this weekend. Uh, Curtis in Kentucky, your red convertible is being built the week of 12-14. Jim in Washington, ceramic coupe, 12-14 build week. Mark here in Ohio, red convertible, going 12-21 build week. Michael right here in Ohio as well, your white convertible, build week of 12-14. Tom in South Carolina, yellow convertible, build week of 12-14. Chuck here in Ohio, yellow convertible, build week of 12-14. Gary and Karen, your red convertible, is also a build week of 12-14. Brent, Illinois, rapid blue convertible, 1214 build week. John in Ohio, your red convertible is a build week of 1221. Jeff in Texas, your yellow coupe is a build week of 1214 for the museum delivery. Frank, Judge Frank, we call him, black coupe is going to be built the week of 1221. Merry Christmas, buddy. And Tom in Colorado, your black coupe is going to be built the week of 1214. And Mike in Oklahoma, your Elkhart Lake blue car, is build week 1221. So, And there's more cars that are at 3,000 status, but these are the ones that are assigned to build week. And it's funny, the ones we just mentioned, I think we have three, yeah, we have three yellow cars already scheduled on the first block. I think that's more than we had all last year. <laughs> My gosh, hey, we need we need to keep that yellow on the palette. Yellow is Corvette racing, man. So last week on my social media, I showed you guys this. This jump drive. Yeah, you can see it is a just a little mini thumb drive. And it's got some red tape around it. And it looked like, can you see that? Looked like it had some antenna on it. Now this was on the passenger seat of one of my C8 Corvettes underneath the plastic. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? So I tried to build a little mystique for you guys. And at the time I posted that, I hadn't looked at it. I didn't know what was on it. Was I a little nervous putting it in the computer? Yeah, but it came from Bowling Green. So I'm thinking there's got to be, there's got to be something cool on this. That there might be some top secret data or something. Uh, no, it was, um, it was basically music. Uh, music such as, and I'll show you the slide of the actual file, uh, Amy Winehouse, uh, Billy Currington, Candlebox, Gary Allen, John Mayer, uh, uh, Kid Rock, Lenny Kravitz, Uncle Cracker, uh, <laughs> the Kenny Wayne Shepherd Band, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Puddle of Mud, Nickelback, all kinds of stuff. Here's the slide. So everybody kept asking me, Rick, what's on that jump drive? Just a bunch of cool music for a lot of different folks. So I guess they probably use this. What I'm assuming is they use this to plug it in and actually check all the speakers. This could be something as far as a quality control scenario that came from Bowling Green. Now it's not as cool as the, the light that Chuck got 
at the beginning of the arrival of C8s, that low flashlight that bends and magnetizes everywhere, but this is still cool to keepsake, so I'm hanging on to it. And one more quick announcement about our channel here. First, I, again, a huge thank you to so many of you that are and aren't our customers, the thoughtfulness. You guys are going to see some more again coming up in a viewer mail segment later this week, but the stuff you guys do for me, uh, I am so thankful and I have so much fun broadcasting and promoting the lifestyle and the passion and the desire for Corvette. Uh, this is more than just a car, but we connect through this car. Thanks you guys for all that support. Um, I'm just really overwhelmed thinking back at, the, at this year already. So a lot of you had asked for me to come up with some merch. I met with a guy yesterday. We're gonna come up with a few items for you guys. We're gonna put a site up that'll be good for pre-orders for two weeks and see how that goes. And if it goes well, then we'll keep it going. And he's found a way to help facilitate that stuff because I just don't have the time to, to process orders and box and mail stuff up, but they're gonna do it. So working out all those logistics. So I just wanna let you know that is being uh, thought about and it's being talked about. Um, it's it's going to happen. Now, I told you folks, and again, thank you for being here on this Tuesday. Anytime we do an upload on a Tuesday, we will finish up by featuring your beautiful rides. Even though we had a little bit of Chuck in here, it's not the capacity that you want. It was nice to have him on the channel today. A lot more of that to come. Some great looking cars to come. But real quick, a message to anybody that's watching right now and knows somebody in the Columbus, Ohio area. I want to do a little something for the holidays to try and help a family. Get them some food coupons. Get them some money for some presents. Something. I want to do something to help somebody out. Uh, this year has been a crazy year for all of us. Uh, I've managed to pull off a great year thanks to all of you. I want to do a little something to give back to somebody that really needs it, preferably somebody with some kids. Do you guys know somebody? Get a hold of me. My cell number's up on the screen right now. My email address is up on the screen. I, I want to do something for someone very soon so they have an opportunity to have they have that Christmas for their family to let them know that it's it's not all bad, that people do care and try and help just a little bit to, to brighten their holiday, to brighten their day. And um, not to, you know, you know how it is that you always, not always, but you know how people do tend to remember the negative stuff. I don't want, if I'm able to help one family right now and those kids grow up and remember that they had a true Christmas in that sense, that they don't remember that they didn't have a Christmas. They'll forget all the other good stuff and all the stuff that their parents have done for them. They'll tend to forget that maybe and focus on the negative. And I don't. I always try to focus on that positive and move forward. I've been through some really, really tough times myself and it's not the place to talk about that right now. Uh, but that's why my heart goes out to anybody that's hurting right now. If I can help a family, I wanna do that. So if you know somebody in my area, please contact me directly. You know, because Christmas is about the thoughtfulness and about giving. I wanna do my little small part that I can. Let's finish up our vlog today. Thanks for checking in, guys. I, I just love being here with you and I can turn this camera on and talk to you all day long. Before we get into the ride segment, just a real fast email that comes from a guy who says, hey Rick, I wanted to share a couple of pics of my 2002 C5 Corvette. Truly wished I could have gotten it from you, but I want to thank you for inspiring me to get back in the Corvette family and have a great week, Rick. This is Ron from Florida. And Ron, you're right, that's what we do on this channel to inspire you guys that are doing well to reward yourself with the Corvette. And if you have a Corvette, what are you doing with it? You're not driving it? Get out there and drive it. Discover new trips. I've told you this a long time ago. Just put some stuff in the car and get in the car and go without a destination. Don't program anything into the navigation. Just get out there and drive. And you, now of course, I'm sorry, right now is not the time to do that. But eventually we can do that. And when you're just driving and you're, and you're with your significant other and you're sharing time together and you're discovering places like, oh, we're just driving off the beaten path and find a nice little shop, a nice little restaurant. Those are, those are some of the nicest places to eat when you find those places, if they can hang in there through this pandemic. Yes, we inspire you to enjoy the reward, to enjoy your Corvette. So here's Ron and everyone else's beautiful rides. Thanks for watching.